You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. Some air fresheners, a new coat of paint, and it'll all be good as new. If only it were that simple. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice. For 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the Vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Your unconditional love is overwhelming. I think I need a moment. I can accept that you're offended. You must understand, though. I have had no love to feel. We have been strangers until now, you and I. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. That's all this is to you? All I am to you? Just another experiment? No, that's not all. But still, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I made a choice. I let the sense go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? They were afraid. They didn't want to come back here. Afraid? They're machines, artificial. They're incapable of being afraid. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? <laughs> Let's not forget our rules here, son. At the end of the day, I'm still your mother. I am acutely aware of our positions. I am also not a child. And I have a tremendous amount of responsibility for the Institute. You may actually be... completely crazy. Well, I suppose that makes your position quite clear, doesn't it? I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hope you shared our vision for the future. I'm afraid there's no room for sentimentality, Mother. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Whatever you do going forward, do not interfere with the Institute's plans. 
I hope. I hope you can find some amount of peace. I dreamed of you as an adult for so long. Here you are. And I'm so disappointed. Goodbye, Mother. <laughs>